like you do. Really, y'all don't know this, y'all in danger. I'm a threat. I'm a threat. Careful with your life, cause you know that it's okay. It's a threat. You know I ain't letting up my foot is on your neck. Yeah. Take my word for it, it's a promise and a threat. Oh, yeah. Really, y'all don't know this, y'all in danger. I'm a threat. I'm a threat. Careful with your life, cause you know that it's a threat. It's a threat. You know I ain't letting up my foot is on your neck. Yeah. Take my word for it, it's a promise and a threat. Go. I ain't never really wanna flex my kids, but I think it's my time. Let me check my wrist. My right. You can never get my shot, I'ma keep on grinding till I reach the tip top. When it's just in my jeans and I ain't looking back, cause I'm feeling like Chris Cross. They can never slow me down, but they need to hate me now. I'm feeling like Chris Rock with the team, cause you know that we winning, we with it, we going, we flowing again. I might just go by a Benz, I might just blow my events. Whoa, I did it all for the feeling. A lot, but I'm making a killing. I'm gonna break every ceiling, cause I need a million, but. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Jesse, also known as Sublime, and today we are playing some Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer on the map Crown Raceway. We are using... I really don't know what I'm using. I can't uh, remember the names of guns to save my life in this game. But we're using a gun, has a red camo, looks pretty dope, shoots pretty dope, and uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun playing this game. You guys are gonna see at the beginning here, uh, you know, me uh, not doing so great, but then we kind of turn things around and we're like, you know what? This is a fucking good game. Uh, hopefully you guys like that little montage at the beginning of the videos. I'm, I think I'm going to keep doing that. I think it's like a good, uh, you know, gets the hype of the video up and I really like that kind of style. And, you know, you guys are going to hear me kind of rage a little bit in this game. And that's something that, um, you know, right here, you can hear me banging on my desk a little bit. But this is something I kind of want to do, kind of have a live reaction gameplay while also doing a little commentary. So uh, today I want to talk about something, you know, that a lot of content creators have been talking about. And I kind of just want to give like my two cents on the topic. And today we're going to be talking about skill based matchmaking. Now, skill based matchmaking inside of Call of Duty has been a thing since... Um, Modern Warfare 2019, uh, I think we've had skill-based matchmaking ever since um, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So, let's talk about it. It's obviously here. It's obviously going to be here to stay. Um, recently, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 had the biggest launch ever in Call of Duty history, selling over 800 million US dollars on, the, uh, on opening weekend. So, that is absolutely nuts. Um, you know, obviously one of the- I'm behind the wall! <laughs> you can hear me yelling there, I'm behind the wall. And they- <laughs> Hey, uh, that kill cam is- Yeah, that kill cam was whack, you're right about that, but I do want to talk about, you know, obviously this game sold a whole shit ton of copies, right? So, why is that? Obviously, I think one of the biggest reasons is that- they use the Modern Warfare 2 name to get people to have that nostalgic feel about Call of Duty and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And obviously Modern Warfare 2 was, is the most revered, the most loved Call of Duty of all time. We're not talking about today's Modern Warfare 2, we're talking about the old Modern Warfare 2. Back in 2009, the recession, <laughs> the, <laughs> the recession Call of Duty as I like to call it, in a time where people really did not have a lot of money, people did not have, um, you know, people, in 2008, a big recession happened. Everybody knows this. People were losing their houses. People were kind of, you know, down on their luck. And would you look at that bullshit? Wait a second. I'm going to say something here. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you fucking joking, man? <laughs> but uh, yeah, Call of Duty Modern Warfare in 2009 10 years ago over 10 years ago at this point um was the recession call of duty people were at home people were out of jobs people were you know down on their luck and the only thing they had forward to look to was modern warfare 2 now it also helped that modern warfare 2 was the most social call of duty game of all time it really got you to really talk to people in the game and to um and I'm going to say here, boom, triple kill, baby. triple kill, baby. That's what I like to see. And, you know, people were down on their luck. But the one thing that they had to look forward to all the time was uh, coming home and playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Uh, that's why I think this game sold so well uh, was because they used the same name as the old Call of Duty. And some people might have been fooled that it might have been a remaster. Um, 
you know, there is a big update coming on November 16th, uh, season one of the, uh, of the battle pass, or season one of the, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This is going to be a two year Call of Duty, so I think we're going to have, I think, eight seasons in total in this game. Uh, so that's going to be exciting. But I wanted to talk about skill-based matchmaking, why it's here to stay, and what I think they could kind of do to, uh, you know, what they could do to... How did I not kill that guy? <laughs> what they can do to basically, you know, make old fans of Call of Duty happy and still keep and re retain, like, the new fans of Call of Duty. Because I really do think that skill-based matchmaking is such a genius marketing position for any company. Uh, me being a marketing major, I can see why they have it, right? So the reason why they have skill-based matchmaking is because they want to produce that serotonin at all times for people who are playing the game. So for example, would you continue playing a game, especially with all the games that are out right now, right? So you got like Fortnite, you got PUBG, you got all these different games. Um, but for example, if you want, if you hop into a Call of Duty game, you're dying all the time to some sweat in the lobby with no skill-based matchmaking. Are you going to continue playing that game or are you just going to hop over to a game that you know that you're going to get, you know, a good feeling out of, like Fortnite? I don't know if you guys know this, but Fortnite pumps their lobbies with, like, bot-like players. And that's why you see all these people on YouTube getting all these, like, high, like, I got 40 kills in Fortnite. It's because their lobbies are pumped with bot players and um, bot, like, accounts, right? So, you know, if... If Call of Duty didn't have the skill-based matchmaking, it wouldn't Jesus produce the, the right level of serotonin like um, like Fortnite does, like a bunch of other games do. So skill-based matchmaking is, is, from a marketing perspective, understandable, but you also gotta, you also gotta pay attention to what the content creators are saying, right? A lot of people who are shit at the game still love watching their favorite content creators, and, you know, the content creators are constantly dogging skill-based matchmaking. Right, so what's that going to do? It's going to get the low tier players to come and start dogging skill based matchmaking as well. And it turns into I'm this sure. violent cycle like it does on Twitter, like it does on all these other social media platforms where skill based matchmaking is just dogged the entire time. Right, so Call of Duty's in this predicament now of do we want to make a lot of money or do we want to make people happy and also make a lot of money at the same time? Right, there's a lot of collaboration work that can be done between content creators and Call of Duty and they do it all the time. And, you know, I think that the only way to go about this is I think we need to have a casual and a competitive mode, <laughs> right? So in Call of Duty, or in, not in Call of Duty, in Counter-Strike, there's a casual mode and there's a competitive mode. Competitive mode is ranked, it's skill-based matchmaking down to the T. It has been skill-based matchmaking for over 10 years, over 15 years at this point, right? People love it. People love the skill-based matchmaking because they actually get a rank attached to their name they get to play for their next rank and i think call of duty could implement this perfectly with the uh, cdl playlists and all that i think that call of duty would be in a huge advantage in terms of how much game modes are actually in the game and what they can do to like get perfect ranks. so imagine you have a different rank for every single game mode that you play inside of uh, modern warfare 2 that would be fantastic, you know, it could be a whole a whole set of ranks and all that. And then you have a casual playlist where there's no skill-based matchmaking. You get to have that social COD experience. Like, the days that I loathe for and the days that I remember is, you know, playing with people who are better than me. And then they would teach me and they would tell me, like, the classes that they use. And they would tell me, like, you know, I sit here and can farm kills, la di da -di, blah, blah, blah. That's how I love to play Call of Duty. That's how I learned how to play Call of Duty. And I think, you know, there could be a huge, big, uh, big turnaround in terms of happiness for multiplayer players if they did it this way. Um, will they do it? Absolutely not. It's not in their best interest to do so. Uh, they make so much money off of this game. It's, you guys, skill-based matchmaking is a business decision, and they make a bunch of money off of it. Skill-based matchmaking is here to stay for the foreseeable the win, future. Um, and we just got to deal with it. Uh, regardless, I'm having a lot of fun with the Modern Warfare 2, and you guys are going to see a lot more content from me. Um, we're ending the game off here, I think. Game nice. 
Yo, you guys want to quit crying every time I kill you? It kind of gets annoying after a while, man. <laughs> We're doing a little shit talking here. I'm such a bitch, man. Shut the fuck up. Bro, I only heard you crying the entire time. Every time. Why did he do that? Why did he go down on the floor like that? And this is the Ooh, Call of Duty I loathe and I want no, so bad. No I want to thank you guys all for coming out today, watching this video, being a part of this commentary. Thank you guys all for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.